Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to link your Zapier account into your Wix online site. So without any further, let's get started. Go to any of your Wix websites, like I've chosen um, this one, my site one, I renamed it. And um, just go on your left side to automations, click on that and just create your new automation, leave all this from here and just start from scratch no need to go with all of these um like kind of sort of templates just go from scratch over here and um just click on invoice and connect to zapier over here now uh, you have to activate that and give it a name I'll just write down like um, YouTube bar one, save it and now go to, actually it is activated now and here it is. Now to connect on Zapier, just go to Zapier um, official website to your uh, own account. So um. This is my account and I'm just going to create a zap. Click in here. And um, you can just um, find Wix automation from here or just write it down. Wix automation and it will be the first one. Um, the event, it will be the only one. Automation rule. Okay, now um, to press continue, you have to choose your um, account. I already linked my own account. You can connect a new account. Um, I mean your own account from here. For now, I'll go with my own account. Okay, so um, to continue automation rule, um, the one we just created over there, the YouTube bar, uh, we're gonna click on that or any other um, automation you have created. Um, you can see it over here, YouTube bar one. And uh, we're just gonna click on that and click on continue. And um, it is all set. You can um, test your trigger by clicking over here and uh, continue. Here it is actually. So boom, it is done. Um, if we're gonna just go back to our Wix and refresh that, we're gonna just uh, go scroll down to our automation and it is written connect to the peer invoice overdue. Um, by the way, we can just uh, click here to overview that and see invoice stuff, the one we have. Uh, we can just even reactivate that. Uh, or deactivate up to us okay um it is invoice over so we can change that by the way by clicking wix forms um we can specify that form and the connect is appear and save um it is going to change the kind or type of that specific um automation um you can see your form submitted and if you scroll down form submitted uh, it is about forms so it's all up to your own needs um you can choose any of these so um now the next thing is that we're just gonna go back and go to dashboard Go to our zaps to preview all of those zaps we have created. You can see the last one is one minute ago, the one I just created. Um, we can, you know, delete that from here. It will be removed to trash. To move to trash, and uh, if we go back and refresh on our Wix, um, we have to also remove those automation. By just uh, scroll down to that specific automation we created 
and click here delete that we can also rename or whatever so by deleting that um it will surely gonna be deleted from zapier and wix both of them after you refresh that um yes um we can see it got deleted and the previous two 16 hours ago are available yet so um that's it for that so let's just make a recap what we have done so far we can just write automation in the automation bar or um, click on automation from the left side in any way we are on the same page so we just need um, to create a new automation and uh, go to scratch it's better for you and choose any of these the one you actually uh, in need of and uh, connect to Zapier as you are in need of that and activate it um, give it a quick name uh oh I mean YouTube um, anything you want to and save it it will be shown that it got activated over here and um, yeah you can see it here you just have to go to your own account on Zapier I'm just going to refresh that and create Zap and search for Wix Automation, choose an event, quick, 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 it will be done, continue and um, here it is, the one we just created, your account and this is our bar, the YouTube one and continue, all done, you can also test your trigger um test it uh, here it is all the information for that specific zipper um you just have to click on continue and all done uh, here the automation rule and <clears throat> the app i mean and uh, the account and stuff like that i already mentioned before here it is okay we are all done um, now we just need to go back to our Wix and we refresh that and it will be shown as connect to Zapier all done by the way these online websites for free it takes time because um, you know there are a lot of um, people are using it probably that's why <clears throat> so this is our automation if you just click on view summary we can easily um you know re-edit that from here uh, it is on hold because i just didn't publish that and um you can activate or activate you can edit it quick delete uh it's pretty easy i hope that was really helpful for you thank you